Hey, folks, we get a lot of questions about moving to and living in all different parts of the area. And today we got a question about um, some of the benefits of living in Plano, Texas. And one of the absolute best, coolest, in my opinion, benefits of living in Plano has recently changed. And it, it comes down to the ability to have a guest house or a cabana or a casita or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's called an accessory building when it comes down to building codes. But can you have a secondary residence on your property? And for years and years now in Plano, Texas, as well as many of the surrounding areas, the building code and the city codes have been so restrictive that virtually nobody could do that. But Plano, Texas has recently changed their city ordinances to allow significantly more homeowners within the city limits of Plano, Texas to be approved, to be allowed to add an accessory building or a cabana or a guest house, pool house, something like that. Now, you might be picturing, you know, some regal sprawling second home. That's not what we're talking about. The ability on a relatively normal, needs to be a little bit on the larger side, but a relatively normal lot size to be able to put a small guest property. Uh, there are some restrictions. It's got to be above 400 feet and below 1,100 feet. But if you think about it, most homes in Plano, now there's a wide array of home sizes in Plano, but most homes where this would apply uh, are between probably 1,600 square feet and 4,000 square feet. And it would allow you then to have a guest home of between 400 and 1,100 feet. One of the very cool things about the restriction about the rules here are the property owner does have to occupy one of those two residents, but it doesn't even have to be the main house. So depending on uh, life stage and needs, if there's a family member with a disability, if there's a, an adult child that needs to live on, on site or the opposite, if there's an elderly family member uh, who you would want to live on site, they can be in a separate residence, but right there in your yard, in, on your property. Um, as a matter of fact, Oftentimes what happens is younger adult children will move in with uh, senior or elderly family members to take care of them. Well, a home can be built and, and, and family can live in either or. So it's a pretty cool advantage. Previous restrictions uh, only allowed about 141 total people in Plano, Texas, total property owners in Plano, Texas to even be allowed to do this because restrictions were so high. Those have been loosened to where now it looks like more than 7,000 Plano property owners will actually qualify. Now, it does require, like I said, a slightly larger lot size, but we're not talking about acreage. We're talking about uh, portions of an acre. You know, quarter acre lot sizes are, are pretty darn close to what qualifies here. If you have an itty bitty lot, that's probably not going to work out for you. The, the accessory building or guest house or casita or cabana, whatever you want to call it, does have to match the construction of the main house. If the main house is brick, that extra house is going to need to be brick. It can't be taller than the main house. It needs to be behind the main house. It needs to be at least 10 feet away. There are some other restrictions, but the restrictions have been loosened up so much that a lot of people in Plano now are going to be able to build these things. So if you're thinking about moving to the area or within the area, or even if you've lived in Plano for a long, long time, this may be something you want to think about. Now, now think about this for a second. If you live in a three or four bedroom home in Plano on a decent size lot, you might have originally thought about selling that home and moving to buy a larger one. Well, if you have enough lot size, you might now consider building an accessory building, building that guest house or secondary property on your spot, on your property and not even moving. Now, I'm a real estate broker. I'm in the business of helping people buy and sell homes, but it's a really cool option to not need to move and to potentially build and add more space onto your property in a secondary detached property. So this is very, very cool. I live in another surrounding area, very close to Plano, but not in Plano. And I've wanted to do this on my property. I literally have requested permission to do this. In the area that I live in, you're not allowed to do this. So I think this is a big deal. I think this is this serves an aging population well. I think our elderly uh, residents in the Plano area are going to benefit from this in a big, big way. Families with disabilities, families with um, adult children, uh, for whatever reason, whether it's a, a, a disability uh, or, or, you know, multi-generational families are really going to have some significant opportunities uh, to add a secondary home 
on their property uh, without having to move or own multiple properties. I think this is going to be a really neat deal and a huge advantage to living in Plano, Texas. And I really want to express that Plano, Texas got this right. There are reasons for this to be restricted, uh, to make sure you 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 respect you know the um, integrity of our communities and that people don't misuse opportunities like this. But you know, this is Texas. You ought to be able to have the flexibility to do, to do this on your property. I think a lot of other surrounding cities are getting this wrong, and I think Plano got this right. Uh, they they heard from presenters on how this would benefit the community. And they re, uh, relax those restrictions, still protecting homeowners in the area and property values, but allowing for a, a new, uh, a more broad use uh, of a really big opportunity for homeowners. So I think this is great. Again, if you're moving to the area or within the area, or if you already live in Plano, Texas, huge advantage of living in Plano is that you can now have a guest house, a cabana, uh, a second residence on your property, as long as your lot size is big enough. So uh, comment below if you like more information about those restrictions, or if you're interested in buying a property like this, even if it's not in Plano, Texas, let us know. That is something we can, we can sift and sort and search by and help you figure that out. If you're interested in adding a secondary property to your Plano area home or another area, we could point you towards some great vendors to do that as well. So comment below, ask questions. Let me know if you have any other thoughts or suggestions for future videos, and we'll do our best to make those for you. I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.